Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. When there is a tasty drink with no carbs or sugar, a stimulant drink that keeps me awake, alert, and packed with antioxidants and many minerals and vitamins, even though in a small amount. I mean, the amount in the, in the coffee of vitamins and minerals are not that much. However, it's really loaded with all the necessary vitamins. And with many, many health benefits, I will say I would love that drink. However, if we want to take all the benefits from uh, the coffee, we should not uh, consume it with sugar uh, nor milk. Maybe we can add some creamer to it. That's okay. But also we should not take the three in one that is backed uh, in buckets because it contains sugar. Coffee stimulates our blood circulation. Therefore, it enhances our performance in general. Uh, all our performance will be enhanced. It helps a lot in uh, liver cleansing. It helps cleaning our liver. At the same time, supports our liver functions, the many functions uh, that the liver does to our body. It also helps reducing the problems from the metabolic syndrome, such as uh, insulin resistance, diabetes, triglycerides, cholesterol, hypertension, and obesity. It also prevents the oxidation of the nerve cells. It helps a lot with that. Coffee also reduces uh, memory loss and reduces the, the, the chance of having or getting Alzheimer's disease. Another thing is, is that it reduces the chance of getting the Parkinson's disease. It increases the production and the absorption of bile. Therefore, it helps with digestion. And many researchers say that it reduces the risk of cancer and it strengthens our immune system. That's why I love coffee and you should too. Is there any harm from drinking or consuming coffee? Before answering this question, allow me to uh, thank all our family members, those who joined the channel and those who are going to join. Thank you so much with my heartfelt gratitude. Back to the question, what are the harms of consuming too much coffee? Some researchers say that uh, it uh, increases or decreases uh, the chance of getting kidney stones. And uh, there is an argument uh, regarding this uh, subject. And those who support saying that it uh, increase the, the chance of getting kidney stone because of the ash after roasting. Another important harm, and we should be very careful, it's caffeine addiction, to be addicted to caffeine. Because caffeine is a drug. Like any other drug, we can become addicted to it. And if you would like to know more about caffeine addiction and the signs of uh, being addicted to caffeine, it's in this video uploaded a few days ago. Some people are allergic to drinking uh, coffee. So please, if you have any side effects after consuming the coffee, do not consume it. It may cause bloating. And I have many friends, when I ask them, why don't you drink coffee? They used to tell me uh, that if I drink coffee, I'll feel bloated the entire day. So if you have this side effect, please do not consume it. Coffee is diuretic, means it will push us to go to the washroom, to the toilet many times. So also, if you have this sign, reduce drinking coffee as much as you can. Caffeine raises the adrenaline uh, in our body that makes the heart beats faster. Therefore, I do not recommend it to anyone with atrial fib, uh, means when the heart is not uh, uh, beating uh, regularly. When it's irregular, I advise do not consume uh, much coffee or at least once in a day, that's that's enough. It may cause insomnia and difficulty sleeping. So if you can't sleep at night, uh, try to reduce your coffee and do not drink uh, coffee at least five, six hours before your sleeping time. That's why we have to consume it moderately. My friends, we have to be careful uh, with what we consume, uh, whether it's food or drinks. We have to be careful of what we consume. For those who are seeing me for the first time, my name is Dr. Ali Qasim. I am not a physician. I discovered that I have diabetes in 2007, started taking my medications in 2011, and I left my medication completely in 2017. And I'm not asking you to do the same. Uh, please consult your doctor. From 2017 until today, I did not take any medication, and I have studied almost everything related to diabetes, high blood pressure, cholesterol, etc., etc. I have studied everything I have eaten, and normally people uh, consume and eat. And I will share all the information in this channel with you. I hope you like this video. I enjoyed it. If you liked it, please share it with others. For don't forget, sharing is caring. If you have not joined this channel, please go ahead and join with your help and support. In this channel will be information, scientific information about everything we consume and eat and everything related to diabetes and high blood pressure and cholesterol. I would like to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.
video with my heartfelt gratitude.